guys, Frank DeFeo with Cross Gate USA. We're here at the home of Signature Custer app. My man, Mike. Dude, what we got here? Talk to me what we got here. Uh, 2013 CC230. Uh, I'm going set in pearl white. Um, just about time to prep it, break it down, and uh, do what we do. Guys, this is what he does for a living. It's his, his, his install shop. Now, it was funny when we walked in, I just got the Ford Motor Day yesterday, but when I walked in, I saw Mike had a bottle. And folks, a lot of you are going to have to do this. This is our pre wash for vinyl. And Mike, you take this and do every car, correct? Every car. Every car gets prepped um, from head to toe before we break it down. Uh, we spray it down and uh, do everything that we need to do to get ready to uh, start repping. Folks, what we're going to talk about today is why we're going to try to get, get you away from the alcohols and the unsafe chemicals that are in the long run it's going to harm you. And we're going to show you an easier way and a faster way for you to get the surface ready. Then we're going to show you our aftercare. So, Mike. Uh, thanks for having us in your shop. We're spraying our pre-wash. How much did you put in here? Just about a cap full. About a cap full to a 32 ounce bottle of water. Now, you might be used to using paper towels. Guys, it's an easier way. Get it with a microfiber towel. It's going to wick it all up. Anything that's left on the surface. Going to get it nice and clean. And get it ready for the vinyl. Now, our next step is going to be where you guys would normally use alcohol. I'm going to use our adhesive remover. It's going to get the rest of the wax and the greases off that the first product didn't get. We'll be right back. Our adhesive remover. No, this is just a label because we're going to have Mike working with it. Just spray a little, drop a little bit on the microfiber towel. And again, you notice I'm not using a paper towel. Just getting the surface prepped. Make sure it's all covered. Flip over the towel. Right, you can see the difference. Yeah. So now this side is ready to go. Now, folks, this is not an, not going to be an, uh, an edited video. Mike is now going to wrap this side. You saw how I prepped the surface, and then we're going to let Mike not now. Talk about what he thinks about the aftercare <laughs> because he's uh, excited about it. So we're gonna to, we're gonna go to actually wrapping the car now. We'll be right back. So basically, right now we're just laying the vinyl down. Uh, we're doing half and half, so you can see. So basically, we're just taking our squeegee. All we're doing is taking the air out. It's all pure release material, all the way down. And Mike, no alcohol was used, right? No alcohol. We used our, our pre-wash, correct? Correct. And we used all, with microfiber towels, not paper towels. And we use our adhesive remover, correct? Correct. We put the vinyl on the car. Yep. That's it. That's all we do. Guys, it's, it's, it's a safer way. I know it's a faster way. Heck, I've seen it now. And this is what Mike does for a living. And Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do this process if it wasn't better. Is that right? Is that what we agree? Yep. We're, again, we're here at the home of Signature Custom Wraps. These guys do amazing work. A lot of our customers, heck, some of our employees, when Mike's doing all these big car shows in South Florida and Miami, wherever he's at, they're watching him, listening to him talk about Crawfgate, listening to him, listening to him and admiring his art. Mike uses an amazing skill. Folks, we're going to come back and we're going to let Mike talk a little bit about aftercare. Hey folks, Frank DeFeo and Big Mike from Signature Custom Wraps down here in Fort Lauderdale. Actually, excuse me, over in Park, Florida. So, you see Mike is taking some Avery Dennison paper. We used our pre-wash, we used our waxy breeze remover, we used microfiber towel, which obviously is the best because it's going to absorb and wake up any material that's left on the surface, correct? Right. And now Mike's going to use what I, is, what I is actually laughing about, it, is the aftercare, right Mike? Love it. Mike, go ahead and uh, just show us what we're doing here. Just, just to tell you a little bit more about this stuff, um, we took this to the International Auto Show in New York City with 10 vehicles and uh, our cars were done. Easier to wipe it down. Just do your car. Basically, flip it over. And, and I'm sure, Mike, if you correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you just paid two, three thousand dollars for a wrap job. What's the, what's the thing people want to know the most? How to keep it maintained. How do I maintain it? So what we've done, Crawfgate didn't just take another product. We developed a product just for the vinyl. And it's humid in here, folks. You can see Mike working himself up into a lather. So um, it just now becomes how simple do you want it to be? We have one just for the mat that Mike has in his hand right now. And we use this for um, we use this for all of our finishes, actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, we also have one for gloss. And the gloss, yeah. 
That's what I'm sorry. So it's, it's easy, it's safe, it's fast. There's no acetones, there's no harmful chemicals in this shop, there's no, there's, there's just, there's just no nothing. Uh, it's, uh, the biggest thing is it's easy. Would you use it if it wasn't easy? Yes or no? I would have called you. It, it, this is what he does for a living, guys. He's not a paid, he's a paid actor. This is what he does for a living, right, Mike? We love this so much. Actually, I give it to every client that I have. This comes with their car. Any wrap that comes, this comes with it with two microfiber cloths, and that's their way. Folks, it, 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 it's every day. It's guys like this in the trenches, wrapping these cars, building the industry. Building, again, what I say is a huge industry with this wrap. Rick and I looked at the numbers about uh, vinyl wrapping. It, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's the next really, really big thing in the, auto, in the automotive uh, end of you know this. So, Mike, I want to thank you for having us. Thank you, guys. Guys, it's, it's guys like this. That, you know, I told what the came kind of the Fort Lauder. I wanted to see this firsthand, and I did. I say it every day. That's Crossgate USA. To eat. So now we got Big Mike from Signature Wraps. We got Big Rob Shores. He doesn't get on camera often, but we got him now. And um, we want to show you that how hard it is to take this stuff off. And because now uh, uh, Mike was telling me that it gets uh, tack, right? Right? Right, yeah, Mike? Yeah, once it settles, you post heat it and everything, and um, let it settle with the heat. So you'll get the true effect of, of how it's staying down. I mean, just. Uh, so this is just where we didn't stick it. Where we didn't stick it. Where it's not cleaned. Yeah. You know. But now, so Mike, is that what you traditionally run into when you're peeling vinyl off? Yeah. That's it. Unbelievable. So we need. So Rob and uh, Mike pointed something out. Here is a surface that we cleaned, that's taken, that took the vinyl off. And look at this side. Look at all the streaks. Point them out, Rob. Look at them all. That's, that from, that's from not being cleaned, and then that's the side we cleaned. So when you peel the vinyl off, it looks like you detailed your car. That, that's what you want. Go ahead and peel that back, Rob. Go ahead. Rob's a big guy. Look at him. Look at the shine. Look at the shine. I'm putting a lot of pull into this. Look at this. Oh, they're good. Look at the, the fading. Look at look guys. Look at the, how dull that is compared to our side. So Mike, I, again, I'll ask you again. Wouldn't you rather have? Would you rather you'd rather have this underneath the vinyl than this? Correct? Yeah, that's the only way you can do this. You know, it, 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 you're not gonna be able to lay it down here with it being clean. But you still use use microfiber cloth. No, you gotta cloth. use a microfiber, right, Mike? Yeah. You use paper towels. You're gonna leave stuff behind. So anything that you leave behind, really it's, gonna, nice. it's gonna show through the vinyl. And it's the last thing you want to do because you know paint is dead and this is the way to go. Um, so it needs to be clean, it needs to be smooth, and uh, it just needs to be prepped correctly. If it's not prepped correctly, it's not going to look good. Oh.